Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and in this short tutorial we're going to go over the rhythm in measure 16 and measure 24 of Chopin's Nocturne in E flat, this nocturne. At the beginning of the piece, you'll see the time signature. There are two numbers, 12 is on the top, eight is on the bottom. And what that means is every measure, we're going to count to 12. So we have 12 eighth notes in a measure, and the eighth notes are the ones that get their own number. So if we were counting the left hand in measure 16, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So each of those left hand notes or chords gets its own number. So then in order to fit in the faster notes, we're gonna to have to subdivide those beats or figure out how many go with each left hand note. So the first three notes are not too complicated because they'll play together. So we have one, two, three, all at the same time. Then we've got this big jumble of notes that have three lines at the bottom. And what that means is that those notes are called 32nd notes. And typically, there are four of each of those that go in an eighth note. So if we split an eighth note in half, we get two 16th notes, so one and. And then if we split that in half again, we get four 32nd notes. And the way we would count it would be one E and a. Uh. So in general, there are four 32nd notes in every eighth note. However, if you look carefully at this group of 32nd notes, you will notice that there's actually 13 of them, not 12. And it kind of varies depending on which edition you have. It looks different for every single one. But at any rate, the way this is gonna line up is for the first two eighth notes, we're gonna have four 32nd notes, and then the last one is gonna get five. So it's gonna be like this. One, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, and, a, uh, one. That last one's usually played kind of like a triplet. So I'll do that one more time. So we have, actually it's starting on beat four of the eighth notes. Four, E, and, a, uh, five, E, and, this one gets five. So when it goes a little faster, this is what it sounds like. Super pretty. So the next thing I wanna discuss about measure 16 is how does the fingering work for all of those 32nd notes? And so usually what I suggest is to practice them in groups that end when the next left hand comes in. So the first thing that the right hand's gonna practice is the first five notes. So the fingering's gonna either be five, five, four, five, four. So five on all three white keys, four in the blacks, or you could also do three on the first of the black keys. You could go five, five, three, five, four. I kind of like four myself, so that's what I'm gonna use for the example. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play your left hand with the first of that group, and then you're gonna just stop when you get to that second black key. So just like this, five, five, four, five, stop. Just do that a bunch of times until you can do it. And by the way, this piece is played with pedal. You'll see that there's a slur, that curved line, and then a bunch of staccati. So you're just gonna play the note staccati, kind of bouncing, but the pedal's gonna be on and it gives it a ping. It's not gonna be this. So keep that pedal on. So let's do that one more time. Five, five, four, five, four. And you'll change the pedal when you get to that. So it'll be pedal, pedal. Then the next thing I like to do is start on the very beginning of that measure and add that faster part. So we have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, stop to how slow those first beats are compared to the next faster set. 
So now we're gonna take the middle of those eighth notes and the fingering's gonna be four, three, two, one, two. So it's basically a B flat seven chord with a little half step in there. So it's gonna be four, three, two, one, stop. Four, three, two, one, stop. Fingers right next to each other here. Then we put those two together. So five, five, four, five, four, three, two, one, stop. last bit of 32nd notes there will be five that go with this B flat 7 chord and the fingering I think the fingering can go either way you can either do two three five four three two or two three five four two one I like the three two myself so that's what I'm going to use for the example so two three five four three two so again we're going to practice Tip for the left hand, you're gonna to wanna to move this down. As soon as you've played it, the pedal is on. So move your left hand and get it ready so it's ready to play when you get to the C flat. Versus having it up here. And it, oh, I've gotta reach down there. So. Then we put all three of those together. Five, five, four, five, four, three, two. measure. So now when we get to measure 24, we have the first, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first eight notes are the same notes, and you will actually use the same fingering for them as well. So one, five, four, five, five, four, five, four. However, look at that rhythm. It's a lot different. So we've got to navigate the rhythm first. So let's stick with the first three eighth notes here. So you'll see a 16th note, followed by an eighth note, followed by a 16th note, followed by a dotted 16th note, which is really hard to see because there's two dots on that note. One of them's for the staccato and one is for the dot. Then a 32nd note, then two 16th notes. So we've really got to subdivide this one into one E and a two E and a. So in our subdivision, an eighth note's gonna get four things. So whenever you have an eighth note, it's gonna, so if it's eighth note by itself, it's gonna get one E and a. If it's a 16th note, it's going to get half of that, so 1 E. And if it's a 32nd, it's just going to get one of those, so 1. So the way this is going to work for the counting here is we start with a 16th, so we're going to say two things for that. 1 E, then we've got an 8th note, so that's going to get four things. And a 2 E, then we have another 16th note, two things, and a now here's our dotted 16th followed by a 32nd. The dot means you add an extra half to whatever the note was. So if it's a 16th note, you're gonna have a 16 note plus half of that. So in other words, that C is gonna be equal to three subdivisions followed by one for the 32nd. So it's gonna be three E and a. Uh. So that group of three beats. The first chunk in the measure is going to be one E and a two E and a three E and a. Then we have kind of an easy one, four E and a. Each of those are going to get two subdivision. And then look at our 30 seconds this time. Now there's only 10 of them. So the way this is traditionally played is you play the first five of them with the first or with the middle left hand note so and then when the c sharp comes in you play the other five it's supposed to sound like an improvisation and not all measured out but this is it's nice if you can line up the c sharp with that chord so So 
I want to just talk about the fingering also for the second group of 30 second notes. So we're going to start here on A flat and then one, two, one, two, three. So we'll work the first one, two, one, two, three. Get really comfortable with that. Sounds really beautiful, very colorful. And then once you've got that, start on the beginning of that group of beats. So on the low B flat, you'll have your pinky on your fourth finger right hand. So you have second group is going to be three thumbs going to come under three one five four three two so it's still going to end five four three two so it's going to be three one five four three two so we'll play that b flat seven chord again as soon as your left hand's done playing move it down to the e flat so you don't have to think about them playing together three one five four three two of those together, slow motion. Some additions have it, so the last three are like a triplet, so. I think if you just play it with freedom and beauty, make it your own, both of those ways work. So now, let's do the whole measure. One E and a two. it will sound like this. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to play measure 16 and measure 24 in Chopin's Nocturne in E flat. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique, piano literature, and quick piano tips like these. Thanks again for watching.